Hi everybody, it's Fun and Forth here, and I wanted to talk about a few things today. Yesterday, I went and viewed my classroom for the first time, and I'm a little bit worried because I bought all these nice things that goes with my theme, but um, I'm thinking that they may tell us because the classroom is totally new, the building is totally new, that we can't put anything on the walls. Well, to my horror, when I went into my classroom, even though it's beautiful and I love it, it's only a very short baby bulletin board. So that kind of has me a little worried because I'm wondering how I'm going to implement all of the things that I bought and um, just some things that I wanted to put on my walls. So what I want to do right now is to run the video back for you and then I want to come back um, take a look at my classroom so you can get an idea of what I saw and then I'll come back okay, here we go okay guys I am here in the school to see my classroom for the first time and I'm standing in my room um, nothing is decorated or put in yet because I'm just seeing it for the first time today so here it is so I'll start from the door I love the new sink and I love the countertops. The window is pretty long, so I'm just trying to see how I'm going to hang curtains. But and there's a very small bulletin board area. Hmm. So I really have a lot to think about because I bought some things, but I bought a lot of things for the walls, and I'm not sure if we can put things on the wall. So that's something to think about. So I'm going to sit in the room for a little bit, and I'll come back to you guys so I can talk about what I'm going to do to incorporate my thing into this classroom. Okay, so I'm back. So, did you guys see how small that bulletin board was in my classroom? Um, now, last year, I'm totally grateful, by the way, because last year we had we were on the outside, and this year we're inside the building. So, I'm totally grateful. My room is totally new, and I am so grateful and very excited to actually get moved in. But my bulletin board is horribly small. So, um, I'm only a second-year teacher. Um, but last year, kind of, um, the school that I, at the school that I worked at, the old building, I had subbed there before, a long-term sub there, so I knew how the classrooms were, so I kind of had an idea of how my classroom would be in order to create my design, so <clears throat> call me nuts, but every, every time that I need to design a room, because I love to decorate. So every time I need to design a room, I always kind of map it out on paper. And so yesterday, <clears throat> I kind of started with my classroom. So don't call me nuts, but here it is. So then excuse my drawing. But this is kind of how I um, start off trying to figure out how I'm going to design a room. So now I started doing some research and I looked online to get some ideas about how to um, <clears throat> put up borders or what some other ways because I've seen that A, there was a lot of closet space, um, cabinets, and I've seen on Pinterest and in other teachers' classrooms where they've had bulletin boards adhered to the closet door, which is an option. But my question is, how do I get it up there without damaging the, da damaging the closet? So. I was thinking maybe hot glue as an option. Um, hot glue, maybe. I was thinking if I did like double sided tape, they the, the stuff would fall. I didn't want to really do the double sided wall mounting tape, which is what, another option, which I have some of that. But I'm thinking when you take it down, it, that it seems like that stuff never comes completely off your wall, and it was just I don't want the doors damaged. 
So um, I'm thinking I did hot glue some stuff in my room last year, and I'm thinking that hot glue is going to be the best uh, way. But if you guys have seen my room, and if you're a pro at hanging bulletin boards, please reach out and let me know what your ideas are. I'm needing help here. So all ideas and comments are appreciated. And don't forget to like and subscribe my video. <clears throat> and um, in my next video, I am going to talk about uh, classroom design and what you can do if you're a new teacher to kind of help you to uh, make sure that your classroom is cohesive because <clears throat> that's one of the things that I do. I really love um, decorating and so I want to have my new classroom fabulous. So if you have any comments, please leave them down below and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button on my video. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.